Hi and welcome to the studio Marco Primo. Just came back from vacations, some images. Um, I've received a lot of questions about Magic Samplitude Pro X8, which just came out. So this video is my first look at X8. Let's see what the new features are. And um, if you have any questions, of course, put them in the, in the comments. I will try to answer. This is just a first look, but your questions will um, direct which next videos I will make. So please do so. Let's dive in. All right, let's check how fast Samplitude opens. We're going to test with Pro X7 first. All right, great. I will reboot the computer again and test X8 afterward. All right, now for X8. Pretty equal. Let's open an old project. That's interesting. Um, it asks you if you want to save with the same name or just load it or save uh, right away with a new name because some compatibility won't work if you go back to an older version after editing your project with X8. So I'm going to save with a new name and it asks what new name. So X8. At first glance, the look is about the same. We're going to click on new features and try to uh, read what they say. Um, track lane comping, uh, that's good. Uh, let's see that. You get this new icon right here on each tracks. When you click on it, you see different takes. Um, if we listen to this part, we're going to zoom in a bit. All right, so those are your options. The This one is the last one and is uh, up there. So if I want, I can just select this part and it will automatically be added to what is going to be played. And you can resize it from here. See the icon change or from on top as well. Um, let's change this. Right, and let's listen. But as you see, this is a multi-microphone recording and the other tracks did not follow. The reason is they are not grouped together. I can select just one at a time. Um, so I'm gonna make Control Z again, again, all right. And now we're gonna link them together group them actually group objects and if I go to any um, instrument let's say the snare top again this icon and we get some choices um, let's go and take this part instead okay All right, so automatically uh, what you select is uh, replacing the main take and there's some uh, fade in fade outs done automatically. So that's very good. Uh, another new thing would be uh, marker tracks. Markers are displayed within their own tracks so let's try to add some markers. Um, set marker, marker, marker. 
te oops, test. Okay, and whoa. And if I put another one, two. Okay, you can you can have multiple markers for one point. That's good. And what is, what is this? Set marker shift plus. Okay. Set marker with its own name. Well, that's good. I uh, and see it follows uh, what was there already. So that's intelligent. And what that what do we have here? Select. Yeah. Oh, the color, that's good. Let's change it for green. And lock all the marker, right? Yeah, that. so that's pretty nice. Of course, documenting your stuff will help in big production. And the customer will be uh, very happy that you don't lose time to find uh, their second uh, chorus or something like that. Or you can even, if it's a dialogue that you are uh, processing, um, reference points are very important when the time comes to export and if you export in multiple files. Another point, export multiple formats. Uh, generate, uh, yeah, that's good. Okay, let's see if we select, uh, let's say a little part here. And we hit Control E to export. Those are the choices. What they allow to do is right here choose multiple different uh, format. I don't know if they change anything else. Of course, I need to redo my presets. Okay, and next one. Um, audio warp. Markers can now be set in audio objects to touch or move the audio to correct irregularities. So this will be helpful when you quantize an audio file or if you want to adapt a sample uh, which comes uh, with a different speed that your project. I will test that in the future video right now. I think it's going to be uh, a long video. All right, what next? Many improvements for working in the project windows. Meaningful mouse pointers. Yes, I, we did al already see that. Uh, you see the icon changes uh, depending where we are. If we make a, a, a cut, let's say, Now you see the icon changes. And if I'm here up there, they are different. So of course I won't explore everywhere, but uh, this is good because we you better know what you're going to do when you click. So, and what next? Uh, numerical adjustable volume directly uh, at the object, okay. So if we go there, this is what we know. The level, the gain, they are all numerical already. Of course, I see this, but uh, I did check back and this is already in uh, X7. Maybe it wasn't in the older versions. Um, so this one, I, I really don't know what it means. Uh, so let me know in the comments if you if you know what they mean. Uh, but I think it, it, it is a feature that was already implemented before. After that, optimize display and notes in MIDI objects. Okay, let, let's see that. We're going to create um, a MIDI object, new MIDI object. Let's say four bars. 
and uh, let's go there and add some notes Okay. Oh, they, this is what they mean, I think. It's a bit better displayed in the object itself. So that's nice. Um, another thing I don't remember, if we go in the drums, all the MIDI standard instrument for each note are displayed. I can't remember if it was like that before. Let me know. So, what else? We have new, up to, uh, improved default settings for many displayed options. Well, this I don't know what it means either. We're going to explore in the next weeks. Uh, color button in the object editor set. Oh, okay. Let's check this. Yes, we have the color right here that we can change. Okay, and it changes the objects. If we select another one, yes. Okay. Uh, help and manual or bin. Yeah, the, the help is very different. Colorful and well done. Uh, let's see. You see there's a, a lot of example. And uh, some are animations. And you see uh, some movement in the images. So that's really nice. Uh, if we go back, VST plugin compatibility and performance. Well, that's another thing that we're going to test in the next weeks. And uh, let me know if you have any problems in the comments. Uh, we'll try to help. All right. All right. The first thing that I saw was that it is a bit faster. Uh, the integration of the comping in on the tracks are very nice. Uh, other little things, but of course it is the same software. It's, it is still Samplitude X Pro X. Um, a lot of the questions went to, is it worth it to upgrade? Well, it depends if um, continuing to have the support, uh, regular updates, and those new features are worth something to you. Um, you get to decide by yourself. Uh, me, um, I'm honest, uh, Magix did give me a license, not for the Sweet version, but for the Pro X version. And I'm pretty happy to have it. And in the next few weeks, I will experiment with Pro X8 on real world work and let you know how it goes of course i'm counting on you to leave some questions or suggestions for future videos in the comments uh, there are some links in the description a uh, little kickback to the channel uh, to help this channel grow and survive of course i hope you liked this video if you did please click on the like button consider subscribing hit the bell and get notifications and uh, of course another way to help the channel is to play many videos and share those videos it's also always a great help